Hello guys, today I'd like to answer a very important question. I know most of you are asking this question or you have been asking this question. The question is, is AI coming for your job? Is AI coming to take over the job that you are doing and are you worried about that? Are you scared? What is your state of mind? Well, look, if you don't know about AI and you just want to learn more about AI, please watch my video that I entitled ChatGPT is not the only AI. Watch that video and learn more about AI. But for today, let's talk about if AI is coming for our jobs or not. Well, AI has come to stay. But whatever we choose to do with it, a lot depends on us. And so the question of whether or not AI uh, is coming for our job actually depends. Maybe it's coming for your job, maybe it's not, depending on what you do and what you actually are planning to do or what you will learn to be doing, okay? So now, AI clearly has come to stay. AI is helping a lot but many people are also worried about you know some of the negative effects of ai including whether or not it will take our jobs so let's really get into that honestly there are some kinds of jobs that ai can easily uh, take away or there are some jobs that are at high risk of ai okay let's get into those type of jobs in general any job or any task that is very boring repetitive very mundane and really you know requires a very straightforward reasoning these type of jobs can easily be taken over by ai okay now let's give some examples of this and i like i said before it all depends on many different cases right but the first example that i want to give is like if you are a data entry clerk okay your job is to you know look at some papers and actually enter data from it that kind of job will easily be taken by uh, by ai because computer vision can easily look at you know these papers and actually input the data point and most likely can do a better job than humans looking and entering uh, you know this data point so one of the job that ai can easily take is like you know data entry click the other one is certain kinds of administrative tasks. So, you know, summarizing documents uh, or even translating, right? So if you speak in English and you want it translated to French, nowadays you don't need to travel with a translator. Okay, AI can do that. So certain administrative tasks like, you know, translation, uh, you know, summarizing documents or even proofreading, right? So, you know, checking for grammatical errors. If you are a secretary and, you know, your job is to really check grammatical errors and proofread and things like that, you know, actually AI can take over a lot of uh, those jobs. And one other job that I think AI can uh, easily take over has to do with like uh, all these cashiers, you know, so you go to the bank, you know, you see all these tellers, cashiers there, you know, cashing your money. Look, nowadays, uh, you know, we don't need a lot of those cashiers anymore. In fact, you can, you can be in your house, take a picture of your check uh, and actually deposit checks into your account. If you want money, you can just go take them from ATM. I mean, there are so many things that, you know, we don't need those type of cashiers anymore. Now, even if you go to the grocery store, you realize that there there are a lot of self checks so you can go you know quickly scan uh, you know whatever you bought and check out without talking to anyone so if your job is like you know checking people out you know you know like you know in a store and things like that that kind of job is also very likely that ai can take over uh, you know a lot of those honestly another common and very important job that I think AI is disrupting a lot is customer service, okay? So people who are working in the call centers or chatting with customers whenever customers have issues, um, I personally think that a lot of their jobs can be taken over by AI, especially those tasks that are very simple. So, you know, chatbots are actually automating a lot of things in the customer service industry and AI can take over a lot of those tasks, okay? 
AI can actually answer a lot of uh, customer service requests, you know, AI can automate a lot of processes, chatbots are always becoming better with the, with the, with the, with the introduction of large language models uh, and all the advancement in basically natural language processing. Chatbots have, are becoming more and more uh, vested in answering questions, especially the simple ones. And so if you are, you know, working in a call center or, you know, your job is to chat and resolve, uh, you know, issues coming from customers is definitely your your job may be at risk uh, with all the advancement in ai okay uh, another one that i think <laughs> you may you may debate this but also very possible ai is taking over is really uh, you know driving okay honestly self-driving cars are already here i have a lot of friends that live in you know that live in california san francisco they are always taking self-driving cars, okay? They are not taking Uber anymore. They are, they, they are taking self-driving cars. So, you know, if your job is driving and just only driving, I, I think that it's also kind of risky that AI can take over uh, that kind of job. The other one is like careers, people who go and deliver, you know, goods and services to, to customers in their houses and things like that drone is coming nowadays drones are actually not that expensive drones are doing the job of delivering things from one place to another and so the delivery industry should also start thinking about whether or not ai is coming to disrupt their their job i think that you know if your job is delivering goods from one place to another drones are coming to disrupt uh, you know whatever you do uh, you know for, for for your work okay now let me talk about an another important uh, sector that i believe ai is going to disrupt that is in manufacturing and you know people who work in assemb assembly line so think about uh, people who package goods uh, you know in in a warehouse uh, and things like that ai and robotics are actually doing very well uh, in these types of things you know i have friends who are working in companies uh, you know that are using robots to do all kinds of packaging in in assembly line and, and, and honestly if that's what you do you you should be thinking whether or not uh, you want to continue doing that because it's something that ai is coming to disrupt so i think the story here is that it is difficult to say yes or no to whether or not ai is coming for a job but certain types of job are at more high risk than others so for example the one that i've described and anything that is very repetitive type of task uh, anything that doesn't really involve a lot of critical thinking anything that really uh, you know is is, is very mundane is, is like you know doing the same thing over and over again ai systems can be trained to to take over uh, a lot of those jobs okay even even the job of a travel agent you know travel agent that try to actually find you what you do when you travel book flights for you nowadays there are personalized uh, you know systems that can actually be your travel guide uh, and you don't really need a travel agent ai can actually do uh, a lot of that for you so uh, long story short is that you know depending on the the work that you do the risk of ai taking your job can be higher or lower okay okay now there are some kinds of job that i personally don't believe that ai will be taken away however ai will make them more efficient okay let's look at some of those jobs that ai may not necessarily take away uh, but ai will make them more efficient and what that means is that maybe if you need five people to do the job you may only need one or two people since ai is making them more efficient a, a very good example of that is uh, software engineering or even like software developers right nowadays you can use uh, you know github copilot to help do a lot of things uh, you know in coding so ai can help you actually uh, write good code or even debug your code uh, find issues in your code and actually make your code more efficient okay and so 
I have a friend who actually has been working with a big software company. Projects that actually take three months, he told me now those projects take two weeks because of the usage of AI to make coding uh, faster. Okay, so even the job of software engineers themselves, the people who are building AI systems, uh, are disrupted by the AI itself. Uh, but it's, AI is not taking the jobs away, but instead making them uh, more efficient. Another example is even in the medical industry. Look, I believe that AI is going to make the work of doctors and radiologists in particular uh, even more efficient. So computer vision has seen a lot of improvement. So, you know, things like MRI, uh, CT scans, X-rays and things like that computer systems or AI system can easily read these images and make our doctors and our radiologists even more efficient. So if a hospital usually need five radiologists, maybe now they may only need two or three because AI is making the job uh, a little more uh, efficient. Again, this is my personal perspective on how I see uh, you know, things happening. Uh, you definitely can do a lot of research on your own as well. Uh, another area uh, that I think AI is going to help a lot is like even in the law sector, right? Lawyers can benefit from AI. AI can actually read their scripts, summarize things for them, uh, you know, basically do a lot of research uh, for them, get straight to the point instead of them reading a lot of cases or even translating cases from one language to another or even taking notes. Uh, AI can help uh, do a lot of uh, these things, okay? Even those who work in the educational sector, if you are a teacher or a university professor, Nowadays, AI can actually help you do your grading. You don't have to actually use your hand and be marking scripts. You can set AI, uh, depending on your, your scoring system, AI can actually do a lot of the grading for you. Again, AI is not going to take away the job of teachers. It's only going to make their job, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, effi eff efficient. Even think about public relation officers, okay? All of these people can actually take advantage of AI. Public relations officers uh, can do uh, what we call uh, brand management, uh, you know, basically reputation management or conflict resolution. They can do all of that by deploying AI systems uh, to listen to conversations about that brand uh, using sentiment analysis uh, to drive a lot of insights to be able to manage the reputation of their brand. Okay, so really, I think every sector every profession stand to benefit a lot uh, from ai you know even think about content creators you can use ai to simplify a lot of your content creation uh, workflows uh, you can use ai to even create original uh, content you can use ai to uh, automate a lot of uh, a lot of the tasks that you you have to do uh, you know in content uh, creation look even think about marketing managers. Marketing managers have always been doing a lot of uh, automated things and AI is actually accelerating that. You can do search engine optimization, uh, you know, using AI. You can do personalization. You can actually do um, subject line, uh, you know, customizing subject line based on the emails we are sending. You know, just by making three clicks, you can deploy emails to millions of people by cost and, and still customize uh, their subject lines. You know, those are the power of AI. Personalization, a lot of things marketing managers can do. So, I almost feel like you give me a particular profession and then I can tell you how AI can be applied. So, here's the big question. Given that certain kinds of tasks uh, will be taken over by AI and also AI is going to make certain types of jobs more efficient or certain type of professions more efficient, the most important question that we should be asking ourselves is what should we do to prepare ourselves for this AI era? What do we need to do? To stay relevant so before I end this video I'm going to share with you three things that you can do uh, to really continue to be relevant in the age of AI the first thing that I will recommend that we all do 
to get ready for this AI era and remain relevant is like we need to embrace this new technology. We need to embrace it. We need to stay curious and learn about this system. Uh, just like any technology, you know, it has good side and bad side, maybe, right? But it is our job to learn the technology, learn the right way to use it, understand the good things that this technology can do and the bad things that we need to mitigate. So I will encourage everyone to really learn about AI, what it can do for your profession, and even, uh, you know, the related professions, uh, you know, I will recommend that stay curious. Uh, look at the emerging trends, learn about AI, what it can do for your profession, even what you can do to make your own life more efficient, okay? So the thing number one is please make sure uh, you are learning a lot about AI and you are staying curious, okay? Number two is focus on developing soft skills, okay? Soft skills. Skills. What are soft skills? Soft skills are interpersonal skills that makes people uh, work uh, and collaborate easily. Okay, you know AI cannot do very well when it comes to soft skills. So what are what are some of the examples? Like effective communication. Uh, you know, showing empathy, emotional intelligence. Uh, you know, building teams. Uh, you know, conflict resolution. Can you imagine AI resolving conflicts? No, right? And so I think, I think uh, these soft skills, if you focus on soft skills, you will be positioning yourself to actually leverage AI to build teams, uh, leverage AI to make your work efficient because many of these soft skills AI cannot handle. Okay, so that's the second one. Okay, the third thing I will say is upskill yourself or retrain yourself what do i mean by upskill yourself look let's say you work in a customer service department and ai is now handling a lot of the simple tasks then what you should do is you should learn more about the complex tasks okay tasks that are complex that ai cannot handle upskill yourself learn about those so you can become a consultant and advisor uh, to to your customers and not always you know just picking calls and answering simple questions that uh, your customers have so if you work in the customer service industry you can upskill yourself okay by becoming a consultant or an advisor uh, within the company uh, or the customer service team okay that's one upskill yourself or retrain yourself you know let's say you are a driver and self-driving cars are coming think about what other skills uh, you know will you learn do you want to go into management uh, you know or do you want to actually be managing uh, you know all these self-driving cars you know just think about your profession uh, and try to actually upskill yourself let's say you, you are a nurse okay or you are even a doctor you know instead of you to not learn about this AI and be thinking that you know I'm a medical doctor AI uh, cannot take over my job please I'm advising you today that you are better off learning about the technology and upskilling yourself so that you can be the one that is using the AI to make your your, your work more efficient so three things I'm telling you today number one is that embrace AI learn about it know the good the bad and the ugly about ai okay number two focus on soft skills ai cannot do a lot of this critical thinking at least for now very well yet right AI cannot do that yet uh, communication team building emotional intelligence that's the second one and then finally train and retrain yourself upskill yourself uh, so that you become relevant look I do not believe that AI will replace humans. However, humans who use AI will replace humans who do not use AI. Again, uh, thank you for watching uh, and we'll talk again. Bye-bye.